UQ is recognised as being in the top 100 universities around the world in a number of the league tables and ranking tables. In terms of engineering, we're recognised as the best in the world in some of the areas that we're working in. Although we are a research intensive university, this faculty is known for its interest and its work in pursuing a progressive education agenda. We're interested in delivering a quality undergraduate experience to large cohorts of students. Well, we've got 1,200 students in engineering in, in the UQ, and what we want to be able to do is provide a quality learning experience for them. One of the things we know is that uh, content is necessary in engineering education but it's not sufficient. What we have to be able to try to do with our students is provide them with what they need to know, but also integrate with what they need to do and how they need to be, what they need to learn about themselves, professional and personal development. First year engineering at UQ is really a systems approach. We're responding to the needs of the students to transition from high school, to understand about owning their own learning, to become an engineer. It's very important in first year we feel that they don't only do maths and science and engineering science courses, but they actually get to practice being an engineer. So in Eng 1100 and Eng 1200, we give them the opportunity to put all of that engineering practice skills together and actually build something. So we set up the courses in, in, in such a way that we had to be able to give students enough content or information about engineering materials and problem solving so they could use it for their design projects. The design projects occurred over the full 13 weeks of the course. Now each of those projects had some aspect of engineering materials that students had to be able to, to de develop or design to perform the end function. With industry backing we've created the Student Technology Centre where students can work on the construction of their projects. They have access to hand tools and to CNC machines where they can fabricate their designs. So the projects that we offer all translate into real world applications, whether that's for a developing country or whether that's for an industry based application. And that allows students to really see that sort of theory that they put into their report come to life and actually work or not work on a demonstration day. And that's really good perspective for any student engineer coming through to see what engineering is really about. Support for first year engineering students is really important. We have a fantastic team of people who can support them anywhere from uh, academic support, uh, administrative and pastoral support. We have places like the First Year Learning Centre where they can come and meet in teams uh, and really feel like they're part of the community of practice. For our large first year classes, we're now teaching in the UQ Centre Exhibition Hall, running collaborative workshops with up to 600 students at a time. This ensures that our first year students get taught by our leading teachers without those teachers having to teach each class six or seven times. We also have other workshops which are smaller, 200 students to a room or 100 students to a room. So it's about using spaces effectively for the size of the number of students we have. In the last five years we've invested heavily in large flat floor collaborative learning spaces. Uh, these range from low tech spaces where students collaborate around round tables and whiteboards to high tech spaces where students also collaborate around computers and experimental equipment. We really are training professional engineers and as professional engineers they need to know how to learn for themselves uh, for the whole of their career. Uh, so why don't we treat them like that as students as well. Different elements of the course are aligned so that students have to work through engineering materials content in their own time. The content and theories are provided online in flip class mode, so students are expected to be up familiar with the material before they show up on campus. Because the students come on campus to do active learning, to work on their projects, to work with the tutors, we really needed to free up lecture time um, by putting the resources online and uh, encouraging students to come to class prepared. And all the information that you need around the course is managed online. It's a, basically a way of knowledge management um, like you would have in industry on, on larger projects. It's a matter of making sure that every, everyone has current information, that they know where to find it, that they can easily get to and that they can contribute to build that information. The courses we've designed it is, is, is meant to bring out what engineers do 
uh, which is intrinsic to being an engineer, and that's design and problem solving. That's what engineers do. The course is constructed so that the students have support from academics for theory and support from academics in industry through practice. The University of Queensland is embracing collaborative, active learning that's informed by our deep relationships with industry and the comprehensive nature of the research that we undertake in this university. So our graduates, they know how to learn, they know how to conduct inquiry-based work and research work, and that's the hallmark of a successful engineer.